Today, I want to talk about uh, neutralizing uric acid and some of the conflicting information that revolves around that topic. Uric acid is formed when it's trying to break down uh, purine, which is another compound found in foods, mainly in like organ meats and meats, but it's in certain vegetables as well. Uric acid can also act as an antioxidant in your body, and that's one of the reasons why it might elevate when you're doing fasting as a way to enhance your immune system. Now, when the pH of your urine becomes too acidic, this uric acid can leak out into the joints and cause gout. It can leak into the kidneys and cause uric acid kidney stones. So what is the solution? One thing you could do is you could alkalize your body. Okay, you can do that with potassium citrate, which is alkaline. You can do that with, by consuming more alkaline vegetables. You can also consume baking soda. You can also consume some other alkaline minerals like magnesium and calcium. As soon as this pH starts going up a little bit, you'll notice that your symptoms for gout, for example, will go away. Now, this is where the confusion comes in because apple cider vinegar seems to be very good to help neutralize uric acid but this is an acid, so it's a little confusing, but this is just an exception to the rule. Apple cider vinegar will help neutralize uh, uric acid. Now, vitamin C from lemons or lemon juice will also help reduce uric acid. Also, reducing glucose and fructose will definitely decrease uric acid. And this is why a diabetic uh, has a higher risk of having gout, because their blood sugars are just too high. Now also organ meats, if you have gout, you might wanna decrease the amount of organ meats and sardines, and just go a little lower on the protein that you consume. Now the vegetables that will aggravate uric acid are asparagus, spinach, and green peas, as well as cauliflower. And check out some of these other videos on uric acid if you just want more data. Thanks for watching.